label of professional wrestling for the reality of wrestling. I'm Matt Topolsky alongside Brad Gilmore for the row. And before we get the action started this week, Brad, we have to let everyone at home know that here tonight we were planning on having Rex Andrews versus Gino in the return match, but we have learned that Rex Andrews has not been medically cleared to compete because of a lung infection. Therefore, he and Gino have been reset to Christmas Chaos, which you can see live right here on Reality of Wrestling's YouTube channel in just two weeks. And, you know, hopefully a speedy recovery for, for Rex Andrews. I mean, that's a really serious issue that he's dealing with, but I'm glad that we're still going to get to see these two guys go out and see who's the better man because in the Rise to Wrestling Royalty Tournament, we know it went to a time limit draw. I think at Christmas Chaos, there will be a defined winner. You know, and you talk about, that's a great transition. You talk about wanting to see who the better man is. Hopefully, we're going to get to see that here tonight in a tag team return match for the tag team yep. championships. Now, it was revealed to us recently, as Booker T found out, that P.J. Hawks didn't exactly suffer the severe knee injury that we thought that he did, which allowed them to have the escape hatch to get out of that title defense against Terrell Temple in the Mysterious Q. They get their return match this week, and I know they're going to be loaded for bear. Oh, definitely so. And, and the thing about it is, I mean, First of all, I got to give it to him. Props to PJ Hawks. I really, I, I know that it's not the right thing to do, but props to Luke and PJ Hawks for finding that get out of jail free card. But the thing about it in Monopoly, you can only use it once. Tonight, they don't have that on the table anymore, and Booker T is going to ensure that nothing funny goes on. We're going to have, once again, a definite winner tonight. And it's going to be a hell of a match. But to start off the combat this week on the Reality of Wrestling, Rudy Garza returns to action to take on the liberated former member of Legion, Tommy. We take it up to the ring to start the action this week on The Row. Introducing first, weighing in at 165 pounds, representing the Renegades, Rudy Garza. R-O-W, the Renegades of Wrestling, Matt Topolsky. They roll deep. They roll deep indeed. We've seen them engaging in some janitorial work on more than one occasion for ruthless Ryan Davidson. The hell is wrong with this one? Rudy Garza made his reality of wrestling debut just a few weeks ago. It was impressive and got a victory. His first ever matchup here. like your people, Brad. These are my people, you know? These look way more like your people than oh, I don't my think people. so, my friend. I don't think so at all. I think you gave them some fashion tips. And his opponent from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 200 pounds, Tommy Bolton. Liberated from Legion, and now trying to make a name for himself. Here at the row, it's Tommy Bolton. Tommy the Brute Bolton, ever since splintering off from Legion, though, Matt Topolsky has not really found his footing as a competitor here at Reality of Wrestling just yet. We're on the road to Christmas chaos. Airing live on YouTube. We're going to see the reality of wrestling in just a few weeks. And roster spots and opportunity will be in short supply. Could Rudy Garza or perhaps Tommy find their way on that card? A victory here this week will go a long way to proving they belong there. And we've got to unpack what we've seen from these renegades of wrestling so far, Brad Gilmore. We don't know a lot about them other than the fact that they came from the training facility here at the Reality of Wrestling, and um, I think it goes without saying, they're not waiting for their spot. They're not waiting for their spot, but there's still questions on if they are true renegades and who their allegiance really lies with, because we've seen them on multiple occasions, and once against Dio Madden, and then again against Brian Keith, acting on the behest of ruthless Ryan Davidson. From the outside, he's 
going to be able to change what's going on inside the steel cage in just a couple of weeks at Christmas Chaos, Matt Topolsky, Ryan Davidson, Brian Keith, reality wrestling title inside the cage. Oh, Tommy. Oh. Vader bomb off the top. Will it be enough? One, two. And Tommy Bolton's going to have to keep his eyes in the back of his head. You though. can see the renegades of wrestling out here huddling up. And now they're each taking a side of the ring. I don't like how this looks for Tommy Bolton. Swing and a miss there by Rudy Garza. Gives Tommy the opening. Line over the top there from Rudy Garza. Look out! Oh, oh man! And Tommy Bolton had it scouted. Well, Tommy's having to hold off four men at once. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Well, he oh, couldn't help. Out. He watch couldn't out. help but turn his back. He couldn't help but turn his back to try and get back into the ring. You hate to see it. And now the Renegades of Wrestling engaging in a little boot party of their own here. Rudy Garza trying to take advantage. Well, not enough, though. Tommy Bolton kicking out of a beatdown. Maybe it's because he's getting kicked with Italian loafers. <laughs> Heads up for our viewers at home, still to come in our main event. Reality of Wrestling Tag Team Championships will be defended, and this time there will be no excuses for Hawks Aries. Absolutely, after seeing that footage that Booker T saw, we know that we're gonna have to get a definite winner in that contest. out and the match continues this has been a one-sided affair almost from the belt and when these renegades of wrestling are out here for more than just moral support it makes it very difficult to get a one-on-one -on -one victory and here they go again a big shot One, two Tommy Bolton finding another way out. Renegades looking a little too confident. And Tommy Bolton looking a little too resilient. Tommy Bolton chant echoes through the World Gym Arena. I think Tommy has faced enough adversity in his young career due to his dealings with Legion. The last thing that the Row Nation wants to see right now is him become the victim of yet another gang assault, this time provided by the Renegades of Wrestling. Wow! A brutal clothesline that turns Rudy Garza inside out. Well, wait a minute, though, another... Another infraction, if you will, and a beautiful drop kick from Rudy Garza. Oh, what up? Garza telegraphs wow. that knee, connects flush to the jaw. And now he's hitting the 30th floor on that elevator button. Garza up top. Oh, my. A frog splash, and he got all of it. One, two, Rudy Garza, two and oh.
Auto Nation. I'm Ashley Bull backstage here with Warren Johnson. Now, Warren, the last time we saw you, you attacked Ed Stone from behind, hold interfering. Up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Attacked? Attacked? Yes. Come, come on now, Ashley. You really, you really reaching right now. I mean, don't be one of those news reporters that's got to exaggerate the truth now. Come on. Now, I'll explain my actions no problem. All right? What I did out there that night, it wasn't about attacking Ed Stone. I mean, it would happen to anybody. Ed Stone happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, what I did out there was for Zach Mason. All that out there was for Warren J. All that out there was for Fly Death and taking Fly Death to the next level. See, me and Zach had a game plan, a master plan going into this tournament. One of us winning the damn thing. I mean, look at the world of professional wrestling right now. Look at the growth. Look at the popularity. Everybody's doing anything and everything they can to get noticed. <laughs> and that was me simply doing what I was supposed to do. Having my brother's back when my brother's back is against the wall. I mean, wouldn't you do the same for your brother? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so now, so now I got a match with Big Ed Stone. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of people would think I'm scared or I should feel some sense of regret for what I did. But honestly, I don't. I would do it again, twice over, all for Fly Death. Because Fly Death, we're not just a team, we're a brotherhood. And I got my brothers back no matter what. And tonight, I know for damn sure that my back is covered. So you know the catchphrase, and just know that the catchphrase is not just a catchphrase, it's a way of life. I'm going to go out there and do what I do. And that simply is what I'm supposed to do. For over 13 years, the King of Solar Screens has been an industry leader, and we proudly use 100% American-made products. Home of the $55 any size, any color solar screen. Well, what about arches? $55. What about circle? $55. What about rectangles? $55, $55, $55. Any size, any color, install free. The King of Solar Screens, on time, every time. Now, can you dig that, sucker? Ronation, I'm Ashley Bull, backstage here with the Bear Ruthless, Ryan Davidson. Now, Ryan, last week you had the contract signing to face Brian Keith for the Reality Wrestling Championship at Christmas Chaos. But of course, Booker adding a stipulation to your match, it'll now be inside of a steel cage. Are you at all concerned heading into that match? How could I not be concerned with the most diabolical match that Reality Wrestling has to offer? It's a steel cage, a steel cage. Lives get changed inside that match. Inside that structure, no one comes out the same. And I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. See, Brian, all the way up to this moment, I have to hear over and over and over again how everybody's so proud of you, how you deserve to be the reality of wrestling champion. Yeah. You deserve it. You're the, you're the feel-good moment of reality of wrestling, Brian. Everything that I've worked for up to this moment isn't going to be tarnished over a feel-good moment, Brian. It's just not, and it won't. I've traveled all across this planet, Brian, and continue to do so. I face the very best this world has to offer inside pro wrestling, and yet, what do you do? Sundays you're on the couch throwing away crap-filled diapers with your little girls watching reruns of Blippi, hanging with your wife, working on your dad bod from what I can see, and enjoying every moment of being the reality of wrestling champion. That's cool, man. Good for you. Come Christmas chaos, I'm going to enjoy walking down that ramp getting inside that cage and showing your little girls and your wife and your mother and the good Lord that you believe in what pain and torment is all about at your expense. Sure, be on cloud nine and feel like everything's from heaven at this moment, but you are going to feel every depth of hell once I get through with you. So enjoy this, Brian. Take your little girls to the park. Love your wife. Pray to your Lord because you're going to need him more than ever after Christmas chaos. Answer the call or get mauled. Introducing first from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in at 265 pounds, Edge Stone. Edge Stone 
was my favorite to win the Rise to Wrestling Royalty Tournament. As it turns out, his opportunity was cut short in part by the man that he will be facing right here tonight. Edge Stone has retribution on his mind. No doubt about it. That's a big dude, Matt Topolsky. That's all I can say. He was my pick as well to win. Edge Stone is a man who literally carved out of stone by the looks of things. And he's ready for big things in reality of wrestling. because he did capture the ring at the Rise to Wrestling Royalty. Well, man, I understand 100% you know, where you're coming from with this, but you gotta think about this. Warren Johnson said it. He said, look, that night, that night was about Zach Mason. Once Zach was able to go out there and get a victory, Warren said, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure my brother brings the, brings the ring home, because if he wins, we both win. Oh, my goodness. Dive to the short side of the ring, not advisable. Could have took out some of the Row Nation in front, and, but hold on, there Johnson he goes again. Johnson again. Well, I think he believes he's gonna have to take every high risk in the book early on in this matchup. If he's gonna have a shot against a man the size of Edge Stone, he's gotta get him out of there early. Oh, high cross good. body from the top. Incredible velocity cover here too. And a kick out from Edge Stone, but Edge Stone more than stunned in the opening seconds of this matchup. Warren Johnson pouring on the offense here. Like you say, he's going to have to get this done in a hurry. And as we heard him say earlier, though, he, just like he had Zach's back, we know who's going to have his. So if he gets in trouble, got to look out for that. But oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. A devastating spear. Just a straight up lateral. Takedown. Oh no, oh my god, look out! You know, obviously Edgestone is... Oh, uh, look out, look out! Would pissed off be the right term to use with how his out went in the Rise to Wrestling World? Well, listen, Warren Johnson came out here in some fly gear, but he was not wearing a parachute, and he needs one right now. As Edgestone is tossing him from pillar to post without regard. Remember the game Millionaire Matt Topolsky, who wants to be a millionaire? I think Warren Johnson might need to call in a lifeline right now. Use the phone a friend. My goodness. Well, Warren Johnson was looking for a desperation DDT. Oh! And instead, God. he found the basement. Cover two, three. Here is your winner, Edge Stone! Well, Edge Stone makes an easy night for himself in some regards to Warren Johnson, but where the hell was Zach Mason? Zach should have come out here and had it Warren's back like Warren had his. It's an excellent question, Brad Gilmore. Where was Zach Mason? It's not cool. But nevertheless, Ed Stone with a great victory, man. The plot thickening here just a little bit between Team Fly Def, but Ed Stone back to his winning ways in convincing fashion. What a monster of a man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nancy Perez, and I'm here backstage with Cameron Cole. Now, Cameron. Thank you. Bye. Look, look. First off, I don't answer to some wannabe diamond. I don't answer to the suits in the back. I don't answer to you, Booker, and I certainly don't answer to you people. You want to ask, why, Cam, why? Why are you acting this way? 
because I just don't care anymore. I don't give a damn anymore. I've just been doing this too long, playing it cool too long. Just like next week, I was supposed to get a one-on-one -on -one match with Will all day. But what do they do? Cam, it's a fatal four-way now. Typical, huh? Because you know, Booker, you know I had Will all day beat. I was this close. If I had my rematch, I would be television champion. And you don't want that. I know you don't want that. You want something? You want something shocking, something to break the internet? I'm going to give it to you. Actually, you people don't even deserve it. Welcome back to The Row, Brad Gilmore and Matt Topolsky. And a friendly reminder again to everyone at home, in just two weeks, right here on Reality of Wrestling's YouTube channel, you can see Christmas Chaos live and for free. One of the biggest events in Reality of Wrestling history will occur with all championships being defended, including what we now know to be a cage match between Ruthless Ryan wow. Davidson and Brian Keith. And the interesting part about this, so many different storylines interwoven here, but this is not the first time these two have met inside a steel cage before. And, and not, not only met in a steel cage, but for a prestigious championship. I mean, you're alluding to at the final heat in 2015, I think February 2015, these two guys were locked in the side of the steel cage for the Reality Wrestling Television Championship. And now will history repeat itself? Will Lightning strike the Hill Valley Clock Tower twice? And will Brian Keith walk out of a cage match with Ryan Davidson as champion? We're going to find out. One of the most decorated champions in reality of wrestling history finds himself across the ring next, tagging with Terrell Tempo with the reality of wrestling tag team championships hanging in the balance. Some months ago, Terrell Tempo and the Mysterious Q faced Hawks Aries. The matchup ended prematurely because of what we believe to be a severe knee injury suffered by PJ Hawks. We have now found out that that was actually staged. What is going to happen here tonight? You alluded earlier that they have used their get-out-of-jail-free card. Right. That is over. Will they be able to step up to the plate against a Grand Slam champion and against a former Reality of Wrestling television champion and prove that they deserve to carry those tag team titles? I think so. I think that the, the Hawks Aries, let's, let's not get it confused here. They're a phenomenal tag team. Remember, they won those championships off maybe the best tag team ever in reality wrestling. That's Team Fly Def. They won those championships off them fair and square, Matt Topolsky. So can they step up to the plate? Yes. But will they be able to overcome the brute force of somebody like a Mysterious Q who is hungry, who is motivated? Terrell Tempo, another guy, hungry and motivated. Neither one of these men have tasted championship goal in reality wrestling in quite some time. So I think that sparks are going to fly in the main event. And whichever team wins deserves it. We're two weeks out from Christmas chaos, and the tag team titles hang in the balance next. It's your main event, and we take it up to the ring to get it started. Introducing first, from Loveland, Texas, weighing in at 225 pounds, Terrell Temple. The return match that they have been chomping at the bit for. And his tag team partner, moments away. from parts unknown, weighing in at 240 pounds. Terrell Tempo and the Mysterious Q trying to combine their powers to claw away from the clutches of Hawks Aries, those Reality of Wrestling Tag Team Championships. We discussed it earlier here tonight, the controversy surrounding PJ Hawks, for lack of a better term, faking that injury. As you stated earlier, Brad Gilmore, that get out of jail free card has been used. And they don't have a second ace in the hole here tonight. Man to man, eye to eye, mano e mano. They're going to have to meet Tempo and Q in the center of the ring and best them here if they're going to successfully defend those titles. This is your main event on the reality of wrestling on the road to Christmas chaos.
we know that you are. The question is not whether you are or not, but for how long. As Terrell Tempo and the mysterious Q await their opportunity. But quite honestly, it was despicable what Keith A. Hawks did. And I say that for a number of reasons. Number one, because not very sportsmanlike. I know that you really don't care about that, Brad. But secondly, it's because we have seen severe injuries and serious injuries occur here at the World Gym Arena in the past where athletes have afforded the other athlete the respect to get them out of the building and get the medical attention they need. Going forward, I don't know if that's not going to affect someone in the case that they are severely injured in the match in the future. They may believe, hey, this guy's playing possum. I'm going to get after him. Hey, and you know what? I think that in this match, that could come into play if... We see someone who might be down with a legitimate injury. Would Mysterious Q and Terrell Tempo actually... Well, I'm going to challenge you on this. Put yourself in Q and Tempo's position. Let's say that PJ Hawks goes down again with a air quotes knee injury. You're going to stay on top of him or are you going to let I him take know. a breather? It, it's, a rough, it's a rough question. But, uh, Matt, I think that aside from the antics of what we saw from PJ Hawks, along with his father, Luke Hawks, PJ Hawks... Let's really talk about him. He's already a champion in reality of wrestling. They beat Fly Def straight up for those titles. And I think that the ceiling, I mean, for this kid is unlimited. I couldn't agree with you more. And that's another reason why it was so frustrating that he and his father decided to take the easy way out. Look, man, you've heard Booker T say it. Don't act like you haven't. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Well, Booker felt very differently about it when he confronted them about this well, maybe, earlier, maybe, didn't he? Maybe he forgot about that. Maybe he forgot he used to say that. I'll remind him. Pin attempt here early on as PJ Hawks looking to out wrestle the franchise. And Mysterious Q says, Young man, you've got a few things to learn. I'm the most decorated champion in this company. Q, head scissors over the top. Irish whip into the corner. And the F 16 flies. Tag, and here comes the former television champion, Tempo. Boom. Pin attempt here from the challengers. Slips out at one. Motivated are both of these men. Mysterious Q and Terrell Tempo. Think about it, Matt. Now, neither man has ever held the tag team gold. If Q were to win it tonight, he'd only be the second Grand Slam champion in history of this company, the first being Ryan Davidson. Cover one, two, kick out. I think that speaks to the motivation of both of these men. You know, uh, Terrell Tempo, obviously, he was the television champion at one time, but that was a, felt like an eternity ago. Mysterious Q has held three different singles championships in reality wrestling, but again, a long time ago in a beautiful German. Excellent Everest-style German suplex right there from PJ Hawks. And now PJ taunting this crowd, and here comes the bruising veteran. One of the most dangerous athletes you will ever see step inside a wrestling ring, Luke Hawks, to retain. And the thing about it, the way that Luke Hawks still moves around, the way that he looks, how quick and how powerful he is, it's almost shocking that he even has a son that could be wrestling age. It's an excellent point. He has kept himself in tremendous physical condition. And Luke Hawks has virtually done it all in the sport of professional wrestling, especially on the independent circuit. The man practically runs Louisiana wrestling. And his protege, his son, his tag team partner, one half of the reality of wrestling tag team champions, learning every trick and trade in the book of Luke Hawks. This crowd trying to get behind Terrell Tempo. Mysterious Q getting fired up as well. Suplex there, amateur wrestling on display from one half of the tag team champions, the son of Luke Hawks, BJ. Great save there by the mysterious Q, making sure that his team is still in it. Now a clubbing blow, followed up by a knife edge chop, and then Tempo eating some forearm here from Luke Hawks. Oh, 
Timbo's been taking a lot of offense from both of the Hawks. Well, I'll tell you what, this is a difficult one-two punch to deal with, Brad, because you have the amateur wrestling and agility of P.J. Hawks, and then you just have this bruising style, and Tempo has been having to deal with both of it on his own Oh, but right look now. at that. Look at that, the power of the veteran. Oh, this is remarkable strength. Remarkable strength oh, from power slam. You've got to be kidding. Two. That's it. Oh, look at that. Q again. Able to get there just in time to win it, or to save it, excuse me, for his team. Well, I'll tell you what, Hawks Aries has cut this ring in half. Well, you hear that a lot in tag team matches. It's cliche to say, but it's actually happened here. High oh. angle vertical suplex from PJ. More amateur wrestling here. Cover two and a kick out. Tempo's got to make a tag to Q. He's got to get Q involved. There's no in doubt about it. And Q continues to make the save and keep Tempo and this team in it right now. Well, think about just how motivated these two men are to win gold here tonight. And I almost feel like if they don't get the job done tonight, they could almost be the team that never did. You know what I mean? It reminds me of the 20... Uh, 16, 17 Rockets. One, two to retain almost three, two and a half. One game away from making it to the finals. So close. Q and Tempo want to make sure that's not the story that's talked about them. And now Q taking a big bump to the outside, man. Hawks Aries have a strategy and they are executing it to perfection. Double team after double team on Terrell Tempo. Double backbreaker, PJ, the legal man. And there is the mysterious Q a third time with the save, but Brad, to echo your sentiments from moments ago, Tempo needs to make a tag desperately. And PJ Luke Hawks. Oh, there he goes. And he got the tag, Matt. He got it. There goes Q, the franchise. The fresh F-16 is in. He's fully fueled, and he's ready to fly. Q, German suplex for both members of the family. like a house on fire. Oh, there goes PJ. Well, if he wasn't hurt before, he might be now. Q. Q Cutter! Q Cutter! Q Cutter! No tag team champions will be crowned! Oh. My goodness! Broken up by PJ with a tenth of a second left to go in this main event. Who is walking into Christmas chaos with the tag Keep going. Wait a minute. Q's not going to let that oh, stop him. Big. A knockout shot that just turned the lights out on P.J. Hawks. But now Luke Hawks had time to recover. He's taking it to Q. The Southern Stompers got him in that power slam position. Q. Oh, for a second cutter here. Wait a minute. Oh, look out. Oh, my goodness. One, two, three. Frustration has to be sitting in too with both men. Matt Q obviously frustrated. 
by this loss. I mean, obviously he's frustrated, understandably so. Well, opportunities like that do not come along every day. And unfortunately, here this week on the row, Terrell Tempo and the Mysterious Q just could not get it done. They could not cross the finish line against Hawks Aries. And I believe Ashley Bull is standing by to get a word with Terrell Tempo and the Mysterious Q. Tempo, Q, what just happened in there? We just, we just wasn't clicking on all cylinders tonight. We just wasn't. We, we, you talking about clicking? We wasn't clicking. Bro, I said you three times. Three, you couldn't even be that once. You know what, I ain't even mad at you. Maybe it's me. Maybe I need to figure this out. Well, they visibly frustrated Mysterious Q. Unlike anything we have seen before, walking out of the World Gym Arena without tag team gold. And he has placed the blame solely on Terrell Temple. 